What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is about bump steer. In this video, you will learn what is bump steer, what factors affect bump steer, how bump steer can be corrected. So without spending much time, let's start now. Bump steer is when your wheels steer themselves without the input from the steering wheel. This undesirable steering is caused by the bumps in track interacting with the improper lens or angle of suspension and steering linkages. So, irregular suspension and steering geometry will cause bump steer. Let's first understand some basic terminologies and then we will see why bump steer occur. Here I am taking double wishbone suspension geometry for understanding bump steer. These are the front left and right tires with left and right knuckle. This blue line is showing upper wishbone and the lower line is showing the lower wishbone of suspension geometry. The yellow line is the tie rod which is connected to steering arm on one side and with the steering rack on the other side. Now let's see some hard points that are used for adjusting the suspension and steering linkages. Number one is the outer joint of upper wishbone that is connected to knuckle. Number two is the inner joint of upper wishbone that is connected to chassis of vehicle. Number three is the outer joint of tie rod connected to steering arm. Number four is the inner joint of tie rod connected to steering rack. Similarly, number five and six are the inner and outer joints of lower wishbone connected to knuckle and chassis of vehicle respectively. The axis passing from the outer joint of upper and lower wishbone is called kingpin axis and it gives kingpin inclination in this view and caster angle in the side view of tire. The other axis is the one that is passing from the inner joints of the upper and lower wishbone. On extending the upper wishbone line and intersect this with the lower wishbone line, we will get the instantaneous center IC1 and this is the point about which the suspension linkages rotates at particular instant. Now let's see what happens when tire encounters a bump. Here is the suspension geometry with upper, lower wishbone and the steering tire rod linkage. When tire encounters a bump, the outer point of upper wishbone will move up and rotate like this and the outer point of lower wishbone will move up and rotate in the similar fashion. The same thing will happen with the outer point of tire rod, it will move up and rotate. Now you know when tire encounters a bump, all the points should cover a same vertical displacement. So as the tire rod is short in length and it is not rotating about the instantaneous center made by the upper and lower wishbone, the horizontal displacement of tire rod increases and makes the tire to push inwards and this will steer the tire. You can see in the figure earlier the kingpin axis was passing through the outer tire rod joint but now the axis is not passing through the joint and it is shifted by the distance x. So the tire rod outer point is shifted from the axis to the distance x which means it will stretch the steering arm towards the right direction and will steer the tire without turning the steering wheel. So this is how bump steer occur. Now bump steer can cause toe in or toe out depending upon the position of steering rack. If the rack is placed behind the spindle it will cause tire to toe out at the bump and if the rack is placed ahead the spindle it will cause toe in of the tire at time of bump. Now let's see what affects bump steer. Basically bump steer depends upon four parameters. The first is tire rod angle. If the tire rod angle is not correct, the tire rod can travel in an arc different from the upper and lower control arm arc and this will cause bump steer. Second is the tire rod length. If tire rod is too short, it will have more severe arc and if it is too long, it can have the opposite effect, basically not forming an arc causing toe-in condition. Third is the camber. If you lean the tire in or out, you set the spindle at an angle and its rotation changes with the turn of steering wheel. Now because of camber, there will be irregular rotation of tire rod and it will cause bump steer. Fourth is the steering arm pivot point. The position of steering arm pivot point affects the point of rotation of tire rod and changing the position of pivot point changes the arc formed by the tire rod which will affect the bump steer. 
Now let's understand the rule to correct bump steer. To eliminate bump steer, tie rod needs to be designed in such a way that the length of tie rod falls along an imaginary line through the two ball joints and two control arm pivot points, which means the length of tie rod should fall between these two lines. In addition, the tie rod angle needs to run its own imaginary line through the instantaneous center created by the two control arms. That is, the imaginary line of all the three linkages should meet at the common center point IC1 at particular instant. It's very difficult to completely remove the bump steer, but on adjusting the suspension arms and tie rod length and angle according to above two rules, you can minimize the bump steer. So this is all about bump steer. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. If you find the video useful, do like it, share it. Also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.